This is a Be Quiet Pure Bass 500DX, a case that I've wanted to build in as long as I've known it's existed, and for some reason it's just never happened. But then Be Quiet reached out and they were like, you wanna do a sponsored video where you use some of our stuff? And I was like, hell yeah, I'd like to do that. So today I'm gonna build my first PC out of Be Quiet stuff, and when we're done building the system, we're gonna spend some time going at it. Uh, so yeah, thank you Be Quiet for sponsoring today's video. Now the first thing that I want to do for this build is get the core components ready. Motherboard wise, I've got an Asus Prime X570 Pro and the CPU is my trusty old Ryzen 7 3700X that I've had for ages. Now I did think it would be funny to just use a single stick of RAM in this build, but I didn't feel like going through the effort of setting up my single channel beating apparatus at home tonight, so I'm gonna just have to use two sticks. Okay, and with that, it's cooler time. And the CPU fire sink that we're using today is this, Be Quiet Shadow Rock Slim 2, which is a relatively affordable cooler that hopefully only requires a little bit of shouting to get mounted. Oh, it's so shiny. Now the first step is removing these plastic AMD retention brackets. Now I always like to start screwing with my fingers because it makes the rest of the process much more enjoyable. And then we just finish off with this. Thermal paste wise, I'm definitely not using Noctua thermal paste. Eee, it's too much. Eee, it's too little. Eee. And then the final part of the process is just mounting this 135 millimeter Be Quiet fan using these metal clips. And considering that this is a sponsored video, I'm not gonna give my opinion on these metal fan clip mounts. I'm just gonna struggle through the process. Okay, so we're just gonna, just like that, okay. Come on, go in the hole. Oh, it's in the hole already, okay. And then there we go. Hey, that actually was less traumatic than I was expecting. Wow, that looks really good. I like that they didn't just go with like matte black or matte white for this cooler like most people these days. Uh, they actually have this like brushed steel effect. I think it looks awesome and it works really well with this motherboard. Well, now that we're done with that, we can unsheath our Pure Base 500 DX. Now the next step is to put the power supply in, which is also obviously by Be Quiet because they do make awesome power supplies. I'm going to be using this Be Quiet Pure Power 11 FM. It's an 850 watt, 80 plus gold rated power supply. Now the thing about Be Quiet power supplies that get my trousers all tight is something that I've mentioned before and it has to do with their PCIe power. Now with normal loser power supplies, they'll have an 8 pin to dual PCIe 8 pin connector, which if you know even basic math, that makes sense as to why that's a terrible idea. Whereas Be Quiet uses a 12 pin, which is just way better and it makes it less likely that your graphics card is gonna be overdrawing the connector. That is just, it's, it's just, that's really good. On the rear side panel, we have some sound dampening foam, which is nice for anybody sitting on the other side of your PC, I guess. <laughs> 
Now the final thing that I want to do before I mount the motherboard in here is change out these fans for some be quiet RGB action. I'm going to use these 140 millimeter high speed light wings, which look really awesome. Although this case does come with three pretty good pure wing 140 millimeter fans. And interestingly, one of them is actually pre-mounted in the top of the case, which I find quite an interesting decision. I mean, I'm assuming I've got to just kind of oh, pull the front off. Oh, that feels... Ah! Ooh, that's another really nice touch. You've got these contact pins for the RGB in the front panel so that when you rip it off, you don't also destroy cables, which is good. Damn, these are some solid fans. If you wanted to, you could maim someone with one of these. Okay, that looks good, and I think with that, it's time to mount our motherboard. Before we pop this in the case, let's just quickly drop the RTX 3060 in here and quickly admire the core components. Now I really like when in cases they have that middle standoff be like a little nub that catches the motherboard and keeps it in place. That makes it much easier to line it up when building. Oh, it's starting to look really nice. And now it's time for the time-lapse sequence of me doing the cable management. Now is the moment of truth where we hope that it doesn't explode or worse yet, do nothing when we press the power button. That is always the most soul crushing thing. Uh, but yeah, let's give it a try. I haven't plugged it in yet. I'm stupid. A few moments later. Okay, it's plugged in now and the motherboards are lit up. So that's a good start usually. Oh, look at all the light. It is a, it is, it's a bit loud, isn't it? Looks wise, not noise wise. It's a good peel. Look at those temperatures. And the system is very quiet. I've been playing for about 20 minutes now, and I can barely hear a peep from the system at all. And it's been running very well. Be Quiet really is living up to its name here. Uh, in terms of actual performance, we've got a 3700X and an RTX 3060. So at 1080p, it is as much power as you need. Now this is Battlefield 5 running at 1080p high settings, and here I am actually using DX11. Now DX12 does give you a higher average frame rate I find, but DirectX 11 has the advantage of making the game not run like crap. Um, so that, that, always, that always counts for a lot. Yeah, this is, this is very good. This system is quiet, it runs well. As I miss every single shot there, that was... That was terrible, but um, yeah, this is this is very good. Damn, it even runs cyberpunk very well. Look at that. This is high settings at 1080p, and uh, we're pretty solidly above 60 frames per second. And with cyberpunk, the temperatures are actually a smidgen lower than they were with uh, with Battlefield 5, which is normal. Battlefield 5 is 
one of the most heat generating games that you can play. Um, but yeah, this, this is very good. This system is crazy quiet. The combination of this tough gaming 3060 and just all the fans we've got going here. Like, you can barely hear it. That's really cool. And that is all I have to say about that. So thank you very much, Be Quiet, for sponsoring today's video. If you enjoyed this video, treat yourself to another one. A suggestion will pop up in a second. And until three seconds from now, bye-bye.